the hell? I wonder if we can put this rock. Oh, so close. No. Okay, I'm giving up. Oh, we live in like a church. Yep, that demon can keep her. It's easy to fight demons, just call Doom Guy. He knows the drill. That's true. Doom Guy does know the drill. So these are all the signs, the same signs that were on the back of that photo. I'm going to still be looking for these uh, Matryoshka dolls. Bag of trash? Okay. We not? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of pizza. How did Chloe get away with drawing all this shit and eating four pizzas down here without us knowing? We are a negligent mother. Butterfly. Wait, is that... Oh, oh. Okay, actually, I think we did this. I think this is our statue that we that we carved because we're like a sculptor and stuff. So all this art is ours. Now, so maybe we drew the satanic circle as well. That'd be weird. We should eat four pizzas with Lucifer himself or we ate four pizzas with Lucifer himself. Yeah, OK, so this is us. What's interesting is all of. All of our art just kind of centers around motherhood. I guess we really regret losing our child due to drug abuse. Seems like a nice guy, to be honest. Satan. Oh, shit. Can we in? Yeah, we can. What? Wait, where did all the shit? Okay, so we can put our candle out in the in that water if we want to. Though I don't know why we'd want to do that. Jeez, teen girls nowadays are always dating delinquents. <laughs> you think Satan is a delinquent? Is that what you're trying to suggest here? Jess's diary, October 11th, 2016. It's been so tough the past few days. Chloe hates me and I don't blame her. I'm trying, so we're Jess. Yeah, we're the mother. This is our diary. I'm trying to make it up to her, trying to make her see that I'm not the same person who was unfit to look after her all those years ago. Letting them take her away from me was the hardest de decision I could ever make, but it was the right one. I needed help. Sometimes, even now, when I can't sleep, I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in a studio working on my last sculpt latest sculpture. I'm still not totally happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. Okay. Pretty straightforward story so far. Mother gives up child. Child hates mother. Mother gets clean, becomes rich, and readopts child. Child still hates mother. But not without its um, interesting, kind of an interesting concept, I guess. Oh, we can't read this. Decorating book, better, better homes and gardens. I wonder if better, better homes and gardens paid them to plug this. Well, all, we all know that his rebellion against God was just an excuse to do to dodge his job. <laughs> See, I like that joke, Max. That was a good that, that was a good one. That was a good joke. 
Or maybe he was... I understand the story now. Child summons demon. Usual story. Yeah, just the, just the normal kind of thing. Okay, so we have to get all of these... elements to maybe get summon the demon back to come get our child we got water that's water so now there's water eyeball psychic stuff maybe air or wind and plants okay Let's, there, there was another door in here that I saw a second ago. Hmm. Oh! Found a Russian doll. Three of seven. Okay, so you know that to summon Satan, you need to sacrifice a virgin, so... So the mother. Sacrifice Satan to summon Super Satan. He's like Satan, but better. Are you I think this is I think you're getting this and Dragon Ball Z confused. Alright. This is our diary. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back up the stairs, I think. I don't think there's any other doors in here. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, there was a door back here. I think? Yeah, okay, but it's still locked. We can't get through this one. It's clearly in the same universe. I'm not blind. <laughs> All right. So things we've established so far, teenage girls can summon demons, and Dragon Ball Z and uh, Satan live in the same universe. Guess I'm down for this. Okay, so so far, both of the exits are locked. Oh, there's another candle. Oh, God damn it. I got so excited. I thought maybe this was the exit that we were missing, but this one's locked as well. So I think this is where this is where we came in. Yeah. And then there's another door, which is right here, which is also locked. So we must need to do something else in here. Why are you doing this to me? I wish you were dead. That is super harsh, but definitely not the first time a parent has probably heard that. Still locked. Psst. Put down the lights. You mean put out the lights? Like put out our, our candle? You can try that. <laughs> God, that was a baby. Oh. I hope that brat will enjoy her vacation in hell. You think she's in hell? I guess the demon did write us and say we that they have that they have her. Maybe now that we interact with the water again, this door will be unlocked? No, still not. Oh, this door is just open. Okay. Nice. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as a deformed, ferocious looking woman. Reza? sound right so far. She is the most ancient kind of witch, truly dark. She dwells in purgatory and feasts on children. Still right. 
She cannot just simply go and prey on children to eat. They have to be given to her in the form of a sacrifice. This ritual, she believes, would give her the power over death itself. Damn. That's... that's awful. Ooh, we got a weapon. Wonder if there's... Doesn't look like there's ammo in it either. <laughs> I will take a weapon. Oops. Wait, how do... Give me the weapon back. It also gives us some light, which is kind of nice. I want to make sure we're not missing anything in this area. Alright, doesn't look like it. Are you saying I'm a deformed, ferocious looking woman? Woman? <laughs> no, Reza. I'm saying that you were right about. Weren't you, wasn't it you who said the grandma who eats? Nope. Die. Burn and die. Burn and die. I thought it was you who said that it was a. Gr that the Baba Yaga was a. <laughs> grandma who eats ch children or something. This is supposed to go on one of the drawings. You think so? We can't get back there right now. I thought the same thing when we grabbed it. But we can't get... We can't get back into the place where the drawing is. I think it's supposed to be a weapon. I think we just melted through something, like a wall that got put up or something right here. So it could be a weapon. Wiggity sweetie, I'm coming for the booty. Demon 2017. This is now officially Demon Dating Simulator. Now, how? who's the demon with your flamethrower? Exactly right, the power of technology. Oh, okay. So we need to like burn through these... Wall things, I guess? Or the bushes, maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're back in the main courtyard. Oh. It went out. The candle on it went out. It's not good. Use your other candle. I don't think we can. It's not really letting us. Yeah. <laughs> we had a weapon for such a brief period of time. All right, we're gonna carry it around with us anyway. Uh, like Reza said, we might we might might need to put it on the like thing, the demon circle. All right, that's locked as usual. This is the window we were up at a second ago, the one that broke, and this is where it was written, "I have her," but the writing is no longer there. Shit, we dropped it, where'd it go? Wait, what? Where'd our weapon go? Crap. Hmm. Okay, well, guess no more weapon. Oh, there's our daughter. Wait. No.
<laughs> this is like paranormal activity or some shit. Alright, Max. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow for the Dishonored stream. Good vibes. And good luck out there until you get back. See you, man. And get some great sleep. That too. She was, um... Yeah, our daughter's not having fun for some reason. I'm really effing scared. It's coming for me. This is all my fault. Wait a second. She just got dragged into an alternate reality or through the door by a demon. And now she's texting me that she's scared and it's coming for her. But it already came for her. All this stuff is knocked down. Although I think we might have actually knocked all this stuff down. So, all right, I believe this is the original room, the one we spawned in. Oh no, it's not actually. It's like a game room. Summoning ritual: spirit gemstone, amethyst, water gemstone, sapphire. Fire. Okay, yeah. So we need to find something with all of these gemstones on it. I'm guessing. Kind of interesting. Kind of nifty. Front, Chloe, age nine, and her favorite doll, Ruby. Fire to cook her cold dead. Dude, whoever is writing on the back of these photos is really messed up. Fire to cook her cold dead heart? Jesus. Okay, so there's a, so these photographs are indicate, indicating the objects that we need to find. This one, with this super creepy looking doll, is uh, has a ruby on its chest, and that's gonna be one of the items that needs to go into the circle. Pretty straightforward. Let's make sure we light all the candles in here so we can actually see. Dude, Chloe, I get it. You're scared, but I'm trying to solve this riddle. I'm sorry, please help. I didn't mean what I said. Oh. Don't worry, Chloe. I'm on my way. What is that? Oh, darts. So we need to find her, her teddy bear. May 9th, 2016. Ben Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas. To whom it may concern. I know maybe teenagers aren't the worst. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I have known Jess for over five years now, and we have been lovingly married for the last three. It is with great honor and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate and a passionate, loving, and caring woman. She is a shoulder to cry on, my voice of reason, and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my children. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago and I truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy, and loved. She has turned her life around and become a success and I truly believe she deserves a second chance with her daughter. So this is our current husband who is not the father of Chloe, I'm guessing. He said, I have known Jess for over five years and I totally thought you said Jasper. <laughs> nope, I have known Jasper for over five years, but You can actually bounce the basketball. Nifty. Oh, God, I didn't even see that. You're mine. IRL, yep, I have. You are mine. Boys, they see balls. They have to throw them. <laughs> Reza, this is this is a fun <laughs> interactive game. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do this. We're not gonna we're not gonna finish the game. I'll probably be live for another I don't know, 
three hours, but we're just gonna chill. If y'all wanna hang out and chat, we can all talk. I'm gonna bounce this ball in the game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's let let's let's move forward. Some pool, some dark, oh! Is this a map? Yeah, okay. A map that we can't see because it's so dark. Entrance, drawing room, game room, basement. Let's pick this back up and bring it over by the fire. I want to look at it. All right, so the entrance hall is that place where the stairs where the thing is drawn, the, the devil circle. I think the drawing room is where we started out. The game room is where we currently are. We haven't been to the basement yet. I believe the door there was locked. I don't think we've been to the kitchen either. Ask Baba Yaga if she wants to join in the game. <laughs> Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, would you like to throw a ball with me? That's why she said, you're mine. That's why the Baba Yaga wrote that. She didn't mean like in a, I'm gonna murder and, cap and capture you sense. She meant like, you're mine as in, I'm gonna win this game of basketball that we're about to play. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Baba Yaga. She always was too competitive. All right. For real though, let's go. Okay, I'm bringing the ball with me. Whoa. <laughs> it's kind of a cool physics uh, thing. Ooh, guys, guess what new game I bought. What game did you buy, Steen? We are the world champ basketball bouncer. Okay. Real though. Okay, so we're back in the main hall area. If we take a left, if we take a left down, what happened to me? In the kitchen, the doll, it burns. Hawks are not included. I would do all caps, but Nightbot would smack me. Hmm. Nice, that's actually a really cool game. I've never played it, but I've seen people play it and it looks awesome. I don't think this goes to the kitchen. I want to get back into the main room to find the doll that we've missed. Okay. We know there's a... Oops. We knocked over the lamp. We know there's a doll in here somewhere. Right? This was where we saw one. The first one, actually. There it is. Wait. Can we not bust this one? Ah, oh, there it goes, nice. Cool. You know what, I bet there's also one in the game room that we haven't found yet. We're gonna go back there and try and find one real quick. I think this is the game room, right? Cool, the game looks kind of fun. Yeah. I agree. Especially if you're into like um, the kind of like high management growth kind of games, like RimWorld, that sort of thing. Stardew Valley, maybe. All right, so there has to be a, a doll in here as well, I would guess, because we didn't find it on our way through. I don't remember us finding it at least. The physics of this are a bit messed up. It doesn't exist below like the half point line. <laughs> 